Hey guys, welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host, and as you can see here, we have new updates that are available and it says new software is ready to be installed so i'm going to be installing a new software on my mac and from the title of this video you don't have to guess much to tell what software update it is and as you can see here it's mac os monterey 12 beta 2 so this is the update that i'm going to be updating on my main mac that i use every day and at the time i'm recording this video since this is still available to developer beta testers only if you are a public beta tester then this is probably going to be coming out to you next month sometime around next month yeah and if we go to the more info tab here you can see the software update and it came in at the size as 2.86 gigs and apple didn't mention much so let's go ahead and install and click agree now i want to show you the downloading process here i'm not speeding up anything or doing any fast forwarding this is basically the downloading process using my wi-fi that i use on a regular basis so you can see it's 2.86 and it's taking about 38 seconds to download which is sort of impressive in my opinion you can see how fast the gigs are moving and how how um, the time is going down so i was quite impressed by downloading this update myself it just goes to show that something is good at least comparing this to what i had on beta one you can see the preparation took about 30 minutes however it did not take exactly 30 minutes i time this and it took about 20 minutes so downloading is good but the preparation still needs to be improved in my opinion now with that out of the way i have actually already updated my mac to mac os 12 monterey let me just actually exit the screen and then we'll be able to see the software changes that came with this update so if we go here to the about this mark section and go to see the new build number you can see the new build number that we have and it's 21A5268H so we now have a build number that has an H at the end and in terms of how many steps we went ahead we went ahead by nine steps coming from Mac OS 12 Monterey beta 1 so beta 1 had a P at the end and now on beta 2 we have an H which is like a plus nine now if we go to see the storage being taken up by this update and go to where it says manage storage right here let me just go again to storage and then go to manage it was not allowing me to click so you can see that it's it takes some time to calculate the storage being taken up by the update especially if you have a large um, storage like me that is two terabyte again this is my mac that i use every day and i i basically am living life on the beta so you can see that system storage also known as mac os storage which is the new name is is taken up 16.57 gig now this is impressive because before that on beta one this mac os storage that you are seeing here was taken up 19.62 gigs so it's been reduced by around three gigs which is amazing for some people who have small storage this is actually quite substantial now when it comes to some new features and changes that i would like to show you with this update i'm sure you can already see the first new feature and change by just looking at my wallpaper so we now have the new wallpapers that go hand in hand with the new imax that were just released so if you go into your system preferences and then go to desktop and screensaver just takes a moment to load you can see that the files don't load as smooth as a final build or a final update so we're just going to go ahead and change the secondary desktop screensaver so you can see light and dark mode and all these are the new colors that came for the uh with the new imax rather the 2021 imax you can see how they look and also since you see this light mode and dark mode panel all these wallpapers that you are seeing here they actually can uh are time sensitive depending on the region where you stay so depending on when dawn is or sunset is it will be able to change from this light blue color that you are seeing here to this dark one if i'm to select this one and also you know if i have this gray one maybe for the 
with this video i'll just select this one and we'll move forward and that's not all that i actually wanted to show you so in terms of desktop and screen saver if you go to the screen saver you now get the new hello screen saver so you can see it here and it's something that apple showed off when they released the new imax and finally it's here and you can also preview it if you want so it was actually showing up on my main monitor which is out of this screen but you can see how it looks there's no need to to go outside of the system preferences as this is built in so that's something that's good and that came with this update and also something that i would like to highlight that came with this update if we go to the apple developer page and let me just make this a little bit bigger you can see that we have the download restore image file and this is for mac computers with the m1 chip note that the build number is the same the other good thing that came with this update is that the full ipsw restore file is now available now shout out to mr marketers over on twitter and on youtube he he basically pushed for this and also were able to motivate uh, quite a number of people in order to get the full ipsw file so if you want that that is actually now available now when it comes to startup time i was having an issue on beta one where i would basically go and restart my mac and it would take a long long time to restart right but now i have timed it it's reduced from about two minutes to about uh, 30 seconds so that's actually a good change in that aspect if you were having startup issues where your mark was slow you can always uh, update to beta 2 and see how that goes for you now another thing that was also fixed if you use vpn so let me see if you use vpn and you were having issues when it comes to connection so basically when i'm connected to vpn it shows up here so on beta 1 i had completely disabled my vpn because it wasn't connecting to the internet when the vpn was on but on beta 2 the vpn issue has been resolved now also another thing that i have to mention or you probably saw in the uh, at the start of this video is that the widgets can now show up on your secondary monitor and notifications that you get to also show up on your secondary monitor you saw how i got the pop-up for the software update before that it was just showing up for me on my uh, main monitor now you can see that some widgets are still in the process of loading so let's click this and see if it has changed so for me it's actually taking long to even load so could be an issue but when it comes to maps we have a new icon that has been updated so you can see the new icon or maps uh, icon and you can see the ribbon here that has been made thicker and the number that was here has sort of been removed before so i did do a screen recording of the before and after so let me just show you how maps looked before so you can see the maps before we had the two 86 number and the ribbon was way smaller and that has been updated and also when you go inside your maps application you have better or enhanced refreshed navigation for satellite view and those ones depict newer pictures unlike what we had before so that's maps and also if we open up like the the first time when you open up the notes you can see the new splash screen that tells you what's new in notes and also if you click continue and go to like let me go to timestamps and then i'll select this text and when i go to where it says lookup you can see that we also have a new splash screen that tells you what's new with lookup so that's something that's new when it comes to notes and also i have something to show you when it comes to the clock widget so if you go to the widget section here and then you go to the clock you can see that we have uh, a darker border when it comes to this widget it's more prominent when it comes to the smaller widget and that's where you can more see it better and also when it comes to finder if you have shared something on icloud you can see the section that says icloud here you can go to the shared portion here which is a new section that 
is here with beta 2 and you'll be able to see all the things that you've shared on iCloud uh, under this section when you use spotlight search for searching anything so you can see what I'm doing here you can see that this search field now becomes a little bit more prominent you can see that the text is more bold unlike what we had before on beta 1 and you can search for a little bit of more things than what was there before now basically those are all the new features and changes that at the time I'm recording this video I was able to find in addition to a ton of uh, release notes that were released for this update now for the purposes of this video we don't want to make it like an hour long you can see a ton of things that Apple has resolved with this update so we just go like a brief overview of this so there's a non issue when it comes to airplay so airplay receiver when you go to system uh, preferences and go to sharing you can see that sometimes it says unsupported hardware and when it comes to app extension resolved in this update is uh is an issue that has to do with built-in apps or ios apps so app extension now launch correctly unlike what was there before on beta one and also when it comes to app store you can see a bunch of uh things that apple has resolved and keep in mind that subscriptions renewals aren't automatically pushed to your apps through the uh, store kit too you have issues that have been resolved with regards to bluetooth so this update fixes an issue where input devices dis disconnected unexpectedly i know that's something that a lot of people were facing heavily on big sir when it comes to peripheral devices so hopefully this update addresses that and also you can see some issues have been fixed when it comes to the calendar when you are adding like uh, a video to your timeline and so on and also some core graphics issues have been resolved that have to do with images and thumbnails now i like the display preferences that have been resolved so where the refresh rate that basically would revert to a value that isn't that that you have selected this is something that a lot of people were actually experiencing on the previous updates i know big sir there was a lot of issues when it comes to this and by the way you can see that the display section of the system preferences has been updated you no longer have the computer that's showing big sir you you now have like um, the, the new updated uh, iMac wallpapers that you are seeing here as you can see this is what I have on my main monitor and this is what I have on this secondary monitor that you are seeing here so this has been updated and the peripheral devices the mouse and the keyboard still show up here so that has been fixed now if you go back to the uh, release notes you can see some endpoint security issues that are there and also some resolved issues when it comes to FaceTime spatial audio so spatial audio now um, initially when you start a group FaceTime call on FaceTime how amazing is that and find my so if you have like air tag or devices that you have uh, connected to your find my network and you want to erase them this update allows you to do so without any issues and also now there are some known issues when it comes to focus you can always read about this I'm going to leave a link to this in the description of this video and also you can see there's a bunch of them that have to do with iCloud some known issues that had to do with iCloud were fixed that's why VPN is able to connect uh, properly and also you have some iWorks you have some language and region and you have some lock screen we have some logging Mac catalyst apps and resolved more resolved issues Mac OS recovery and we have some fixed issues in mail that have to do with mail kit API and some ma maps resolved issues messages has some issues so you can see that there's a lot of issues that are still here and a lot of issues that have been resolved if we were to go through all these one by one would take a long time however allow me to just show you the last one here that has to do with safari so you can see that safari has fixed issues where it says um, fixed an issue with safari that didn't load websites as expected when hide ip address from trackers was on so if you go to your safari here and you go to your system preferences and you go to privacy you can hide ip address from trackers so when you had that on some websites were not loading cor correctly because maybe they they wanted to track you but they were they were not figuring out 
how or what's going on so now those websites should be able to load properly so i'm going to leave this in the description of this video and you can always feel free to check out some of these um, release notes there's a lot of them so that's basically how this update came in for me on my 2016 15 inch macbook pro keep in mind that i use this update every day on a daily basis on my daily driver and when it comes to a non-issue there is a non-issue that different people are mentioning on the community that has to do with xcode 12 and 13 not working on rosetta properly with this update on mac os 12 monterey bay 2 now other than that i think this update is amazing it brings about a ton of stability changes and as you can see it's not yet perfect it has a ton of new uh, and new issues that are still there but in my opinion it still feels better than what we had on mac os 12 monterey in terms of stability and security updates now other than that stay safe i hope you like this video and i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one peace